Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Tonight is Tuesday, August the 2nd of 2016, and this is going to be a real quick off-the-cuff video. Um, so off-the-cuff, I'm not using my real camcorder, I'm just recording on my phone. But I just wanted to give you a quick little update on the um, Packard Bell Platinum Pro 750. I've done something kind of um, interesting with it. How interesting is this? Well, it is no longer running Windows 95. See for, your, see for yourself. What's this? Windows 98? Yes, that's right, folks. I am now running Windows 98 Second Edition on a Packard Bell, something I thought I would never do. However, there is a catch to this, as you will see momentarily. And no, that's not it. I don't know why it's building a driver information database. <laughs> okay, we need to wait for this to go away. Um, now, I swear this is indeed Windows 98. You want proof? There it is in black and white, or black and gray, gray, I should say. Microsoft Windows 98 Second Edition. Now, you may have also noticed something odd in the OEM info. A little something called 98 Lite is making a, an appearance here. Well, what 98 Lite does, it allows you to replace the Windows 98 interface, the the webby interface with the active desktop and all that with the interface from Windows 95. As you can see here, um, the interface looks and acts exactly like Windows 95. Even though this is Windows 98. Reason I did this is because, well, I figured if I'm going to put Windows 98 on here, I'm, I'm doing this to a Packard Bell. And as you know, I have a strong stance against most Packard Bells from this era running Windows 98. However, there were two reasons why I installed Windows 98 on here. One, as you may recall, I installed a Intel Pentium MMX processor running at 233 megahertz. And which gave it a really, really nice performance boost. And plus, um, you know, 98 Lite, you can have the um, Windows 95 interface making it a little bit faster. And as you may have heard at the beginning, um, that was not the Windows 98 startup sound, that was the Windows 95 startup sound. That was my doing, actually. I just copied the sounds from Windows 95 over to here so it would still sound like Windows 95 because I'm a weirdo. So, um, the reason I put Windows 98 on here was, was well, you know, I figured if, if 98 Lite works, which it did, I can, I can um, give this computer a little bit more capa software capability. For one thing, I'm now able to run a little program called Media Player Classic, which lets me play MP3 files on here, which I'm not going to do on this video because I don't want the copyright mafia coming after me. 
and um, it just you know gives you a little bit better hardware compatibility. Um, now you can do this in Windows 95, but it works a little bit better in Windows 98 with the um, appropriate driver. I can use a USB flash drive, which is connected right here into a PCI USB card I have installed in the system. And there it is. And um, it's still got all the Packard Bell stuff on here. This is actually upgraded from a Windows 95 install from, Packard, from a Packard Bell Master CD. Now, as you recall, I was using the uh, Multimedia software pack from 1996, which had the same software pack as the Legend 822 CDT. Well, I decided to go a little bit differently and go with the exact same software that would have come originally on this system which includes Navigator 3.9. Look how different it is. Your Packard Bell computer offers two computing environments to choose from. Our Navigator Home Environment or Microsoft Windows. Press button number one to go directly to Navigator or button two to go to Windows 95. 98 in Press this case. button 3 for an overview of Navigator. Press the number 3 key on your keyboard for a quick lesson on using your mouse. To customize your setup and secure your computer so that more than one person can use it, press button 4. Well, it's different, but not different enough to not to have a um, lesson on using the mouse. <laughs> you can't have Packer Bell Navigator without that little tradition. But yep, very, very different here. This is version 3.9 which is what came on the Platinum series of Packard Bells in late 1996 and then in 1997, the early part of 1997, um, Packard Bell started including it on all of their systems, not just the Platinums. And it includes SimCity Classic as one of the games. Boy, that's loud. play that another day. has Sega's Echo the Dolphin on there, which I don't have the CD for, unfortunately. Or you got your ski free. So yeah, um, pretty um, sweet if you ask me. Um, now, I know I have Windows 98 on here, but this is the only Packard Bell of mine that will be seeing Windows 98. Because with Packard Bells like my Legend 822 CDT, which only have, that only has like a 100 megahertz Pentium, Windows 98, even with um, 98 Lite, is just not a good idea. Plus, you know, with a computer like that, I'm a little bit more of a stickler for originality, so... That computer is not going to see anything other than Windows 95. Because Windows 98 is just a no-no for me. However, on something like this, it actually runs pretty well. So yeah, I just thought I would um, just do a quick video showing um, what I've done to this computer, all the changes I've made. I believe I got Windows 98 on a Packard Bell, but for something like this, it's um, no big deal at all. So, for now, this is Billy Core signing off.